Hopkinton Health Director Sean McAuliffe gave an update on the current COVID-19 situation at this week's select board meeting. Um, I don't think it's any surprise or any, um, yeah, it, it's, it's no surprise that we've seen an incredible surge over the last um, two months. Um, we have 276 total cases uh, today um, at this time. Um, you know, we, we just had 264 yesterday. So we're seeing significant increases each day. We have 47 active cases, 260, 216 recovered, and um, no additional deaths. We're still at 13. Um, you know, we've seen 23 new cases since last Wednesday. And, um, you know, as I've reported, you know, we had 140 cases from March to uh, September 20th. And we've had, um, we've had over 140 cases um, since September 21st to um, today. And I say over 140 because there, we know that there are cases that haven't been added to our count yet. Um, that said, um, the positivity rate is increasing in town. We went up from a 1.55% uh, percent on 11.19. Um, last week, we are at a 2.59. I expect us to stay pretty close um, to that number as we go into um, tomorrow. Um, on a kind of like on a positive note, we've had um, less than five COVID-19 hospitalizations in this most recent wave. There was some positive news as far as school community spread. You know, one of the things that Casey and I continue to, you know, impress upon people is to date, we still have no evidence of school or community spread. We've been able to track um, every case coming into town, um, and, and everything that's presented itself in school. And, and we're doing a really good job at containing the illness. It's just, you know, we have individuals uh, contracting illness at work, and then we have spread in the home. But because Casey and I are reaching out um, to virtually every resident um, within, you know, a day to two days, we've been able to, you know, really confine it to the home and not let it get out, um, you know, spreading throughout the, the neighborhood community. With the increase in cases, Sean had a message for residents to reduce spread and also commented on the vaccination process. Um, and then the remainder of our cases are coming from you know, it's from social ga gatherings at restaurants, um, functions outside of the home, but all of these activities are happening outside of Hopkinton. So, you know, we've just been trying to impress upon our residents. Just, you know, if you're, if you're participating in any activities, you know, be it sports, dining out, whatever, outside of town, you you just got to give it a second thought because there's a lot of risk out there. Um, you know, no, I was speaking to Norman about, uh, you know, where are we in the vaccination process? You know, Casey has updated and modified our emergency dispensing site plan to address the COVID-19 vaccinations. We've been bringing in, we've got, you know, generators, tents, we have vaccination stations, we have all this equipment coming in that we paid for through grants. Um, we have updated our plan. Um, and right now, it looks like we should expect vaccines to be delivered to our department in the spring. And that's when we'll be starting our mass, uh, our mass distribution. Town manager Norman Cavallo also made a request for the addition of a public health agent. Again, I'm respectfully requesting that you support this request uh, for an additional position in the uh, health services department. Uh, we need the help now. 
uh, and this position can be paid for from the approved budget. There's the inspectional aspect of the work, which is diff which is um, separate from the work that Sean does. Right. It covers, yeah, it covers the the food service permits. Uh, they also join with the inspectional team for our permitting process. They inspect restaurants, school cafeterias, re retail food stores, food handling and processing. We get a lot of these one day permits uh, in town, which is good. And we need to have somebody in place to do that. They will inspect nursing homes. Uh, we know why it's important to do that based on our experience with COVID-19, recreational camps, um, septic water pumped trucks, they will also be the one responding when we have a food recall in town and any other environmental health issues. We're hearing a lot about that at Legacy Farms. They'll also conduct the annual inspections uh, for animal and barns, kennels, pools, beaches, um, as well as investigate any alleged environmental nuisance that is brought to the town's attention. The board unanimously approved the decision to add a public health agent.